good morning and welcome to morning prayer during the season of Lent. It's good that you could join me again this morning. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Have mercy on me, O God, in your great goodness. According to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my offenses. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my faults and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight so that you are justified in your sentence and righteous in your judgment. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me again the joy of your salvation and sustain me with your gracious spirit. Then shall I teach your ways to the wicked and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from my guilt, O God, the God of my salvation. And my tongue so shall sing of your righteousness. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire, with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And our psalm this morning is Psalm 3, a psalm of David when he fled from his son Absalom. Lord, how many are my foes? How many rise up against me? Many are saying of me, God will not deliver him. But you, Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts my head high. I call out to the Lord, and he answers me from his holy mountain. I lie down and sleep. I wake again, because the Lord sustains me. I will not fear, though tens of thousands assail me on every side. Arise, Lord, deliver me, my God. Strike all my enemies on the jaw, break the teeth of the wicked. From the Lord comes deliverance. May your blessings be on your people. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Full of compassion and mercy and love is God the Most High, the Almighty. And our Old Testament reading this morning is taken from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 3, verses 6 to 22, Unfaithful Israel. During the reign of King Josiah, the Lord said to me, have you seen what faithless Israel has done? She has gone up on every high hill and under every spreading tree and has committed adultery there. I thought that after she had done all this, she would return to me, but she did not. 
and her unfaithful sister Judah saw it. I gave faithless Israel her certificate of divorce and sent her away because of all her adulteries. Yet I saw that her unfaithful sister Judah had no fear. She also went out and committed adultery because Israel's immorality mattered so little to her. She defiled the land and committed adultery with stone and wood. In spite of all this, her unfaithful sister Judah did not return to me with all her heart, but only in pretense, declares the Lord. The Lord said to me, faithless, faithless Israel is more righteous than unfaithful Judah. Go proclaim this message toward the north. Return, faithless Israel, declares the Lord. I will frown on you no longer, for I am faithful, declares the Lord. I will not be angry forever. Only acknowledge your guilt. You have rebelled against the Lord your God. You have scattered your favours to foreign gods under every spreading tree and have not obeyed me, declares the Lord. Return, faithless people, declares the Lord. For I am your husband, and I will choose you, one from a town and two from a clan, and bring you to Zion. Then I will give you shepherds after my own heart, who will lead you with knowledge and understanding. In those days when your numbers have increased greatly in the land, declares the Lord, people will no longer say, the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord. It will never enter their minds or be remembered. It will not be missed, nor will another one be made. At that time, they will call Jerusalem the throne of the Lord, and all nations will gather in Jerusalem to honour the name of the Lord. No longer will they follow the stubbornness of their evil hearts. In those days, the people of Judah will join the people of Israel, and together they will come from a northern land to the land I gave your ancestors as an inheritance. I myself said, how gladly would I treat you like my children and give you a pleasant land, the most beautiful inheritance of any nation. I thought you would call me father and not turn away from following me. But like a woman unfaithful to her husband, so you, Israel, have been unfaithful to me, declares the Lord. A cry is heard on the barren heights the weeping and pleading of the people of Israel, because they have perverted their ways and have forgotten the Lord their God. Return, faithless people, I will cure you of backsliding. Yes, we will come to you, for you are the Lord our God. For the word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Lord Almighty and God of our ancestors, you have made heaven and earth in all their glory. All things tremble with awe at your presence. Before your great and mighty power, immeasurable and unsearchable is your promised mercy. For you are God most high. You are full of compassion, long-suffering and very merciful. And you relent at human suffering. O oh God, according to your great goodness. You have promised forgiveness for repentance to those who have sinned against you. The sins I have committed against you are more in number than the sands of the sea. I am not worthy to look up to the height of heaven because of the multitude of my iniquities. And now I bend the knee of my heart before you imploring your kindness upon me. I have sinned, O God, I have sinned. And I acknowledge my transgressions. Worthy as I am, you will save me. According to your great mercy, for all the hosts of heaven sing your praise and your glory is forever and ever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. 
full of compassion and mercy and love, is God the Most High, the Almighty. The New Testament reading is taken from the Gospel of John, chapter 4, verses 27 to 42. The disciples rejoin Jesus. Just then, his disciples returned and were surprised to find him talking with a woman. But no one asked, what do you want? Or why are you talking to her? Then leaving her water jar, the woman went back to the town and said to the people, come, see a man who told me everything I ever did. Could this be the Messiah? They came out of the town and made their way toward him. Meanwhile, his disciples urged him, Rabbi, eat something. But he said to them, I have food to eat that you know nothing about. Then his disciples said to each other, could someone have brought him food? My food, said Jesus, is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. Don't you have a saying, it's still four months until harvest? I tell you, open your eyes and look at the fields. They are ripe for harvest. Even now, the one who reaps draws a wage and harvests a crop for eternal life, so that the sower and the reaper may be glad together. Thus the saying, one sows and another reaps, is true. I sent you to reap what you have not worked for. Others have done the hard work, and you have reaped the benefits of their labour. Many of the Samaritans from that town believed in Jesus because of the woman's testimony. He told me everything I ever did. So when the Samaritans came to Jesus, they urged him to stay with them, and he stayed two days. And because of his words, many more became believers. They said to the woman, we no longer believe just because of what you said. Now we have heard for ourselves, and we know this man really is the saviour of the world. For the word of God, thanks be to God. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. O my God, in you I trust. You are the God of my salvation. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. In you I hope all the day long. O my God, in you I trust. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. O my God, in you I trust. The Benedictus. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David, who is holy prophets God promised of old, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins, in the tender compassion of our God. The dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Let us pray. 
Father God, as we start this season of Lent, we seek to draw ourselves closer to you. We seek to reflect on ourselves, what we say, what we do, what we think, how we feel. We ask, dear God, through this time of prayer, study, abstinence and reflection, this time of finding extra quiet during our day and not to be tempted to break our discipline. We ask you, dear Lord, that by the power of your Holy Spirit, you may transform us so that we come out renewed, refreshed, sustained and energised. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Father God, help us in our time of meditation and reflection to seek how we may better serve you and your people. The food that we eat is servitude to you with a true heart. Help us to consider those in need, in mind, body and spirit, how we may walk alongside them, how we may seek to feed them, and how we may encourage them to find you and be in relationship with you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. As your son retreated to the wilderness, denied himself of anything in abundance, may we also remind ourselves that you provide all we need. May we come to a place where anything surplus to what we need is appreciated, shared, and taken in our minds and hearts and our spirituality as truly a blessing to be used for your will. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. And Father God, this day, we bring to you those who spent their last night with a loved one. We lift to you those for whom this night will be the last night they will spend with a loved one. Wrap your loving arms around them. Draw them close. And may we, as your servants, walk alongside them and give them hope in their grief the promise of eternal life for all those who believe. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The Collect Almighty an everlasting God. You hate nothing that you have made and forgive the sins of all those who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may receive from you the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Trusting in the compassion of God, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May God our Redeemer show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining me. I hope, God willing, that we can be together tomorrow and share morning prayer through this season of Lent. God bless you. Bye-bye.